Twitch completing an auto quest. Will the Blue Alliance get the auto quest done as well? Bam, teams are really heating it up this morning here. We've got an extra rank point for both the Red and Blue Alliance this match. These teams are hungry for all those ranks as they enter our final 20 matches. 166 quickly darting across the field, trying to get more power cubes onto the red switch, taken away of ownership. But the Bionic Beef launching more and more cubes on the scale. Chop, chop, try, placing a cube, almost getting it on that switch. Can they push it on? There it goes. And the switch falls to the Blue Alliance side. Hammerheads, they've got a cube of their own. They're answering back, being like, nope, got this. Red Alliance has had their switch effectively shut down by the Blue Alliance. AD being like two can play this switch game. They're going after the Blue Alliance switch. That sound we just heard is a levitate power up. Red Alliance is being awarded at least one climb this match. The Blue Alliance playing a very strong switch game. The Red Alliance has the scale on lockdown. So that means each alliance is earning one point a second right now for ownership. Will it be enough to keep the Blue Alliance, keep the Red Alliance ahead, or will the Blue Alliance be able to come back? Oh, TJ has shut down the blue switch, but Chop Chop answers back with a cube of their own. Oh, it's a low, it's a battle for the low switch over here. That blue side getting more and more power cubes placed up and on. Seconds left in the match. We are just about out of space available to place cubes on the blue switch. Red Alliance using force on the scale to take the scale back. Uh, TJ trying to get to go. Oh, but it's just enough. There's too much weight on that blue side. 5,000 climbing higher and higher. Will they be enough? Will that those points be enough for the Blue Alliance to overcome it and face the boss? Oh, that is a close score, 233, 265. Let's see what the final results are.